behind this boat in front of us. y'all we'll be ready to talk about boat you know what I'm saying I had a problem with my boat and I'm gonna let everybody know what's going on with a boat you know how you fix your problem sometimes when you be out there in the water because since I live out in North Carolina since I go to the ocean or in, in the coastal and you got high tide low tide moving you around and you gotta get that boat fixed fast you gotta do what you gotta do right now I'm gonna show you my tools stay tuned I got these tools at the pawn shop for still for only like 50 bucks for all this right here look at this though you got the bit sockets, the little sockets, you know what I'm saying? The screwdriver thing, our ranches, you got a lot of different things and stuff. You know, sometimes it's good you check your pawn shots out, get you some new tools and stuff, because everybody pawning everything because you know saying how the times is and people need money. And so sometimes it'll be your great upcome get some new tools. So think about it next time you're in your local pawn shop. Hey, welcome back now. Right here it's called Muffs. This is what you put at the bottom of your um, unit of your boat and you just hook the water hose like this into it like that and then what it does is force the water into it to the unit and stuff and what it is is suction cups right here and keep it on before it will fall off your boat so um, stay tuned I'm gonna get ready to show you how to do it okay we back again okay this is what we're gonna do okay I got the muffs right here now what you want to do is take it like this take the muffs between the unit right there, you slide right in there. See, you slide right there. You got some, like some vents right here. If you take a look real quick, you see these little vents right here? That's where the water forces up right here. It forces the water in there, and you put the thing over them. Make sure they over it. Make sure they on both sides over it. That's what we are. And then what it will, will do is it force the water shoot out, and you see like a um water come out like it's peeing out and I'm gonna show you my turn the water on stay tuned okay got the water hose on right now as you see how the water shooting out right here you see like a little pee water coming out all that stream there's another one right over here this is the best one right here come over here camera person now what you see you see it's coming out of that hole that little stream right there come out of the hole that let me know the water's flowing real good and that's coming right out for the water, with the water coming out. That let me know it's, it's real good. All right, welcome back again. What I'm going to do is to pull off the engine top, pull it to the side. Now, what I have right here is a uh, Johnson 85 horsepower engine. It's a 1973, it's an older model. So, auto older model, you got to kind of take care of it better. The new ones and stuff, two stroke too. So, there you go. Now, now, what I have a problem with uh, was the choke right here. If you didn't see right here, camera first right here, you see this right. This is like the choke right here that primes into the gas thing before it starts the um, boat up for you right here. And sometimes this have to be working to make it uh, um, the boat start up. And sometimes it don't work. Sometimes you know, what I'm saying sometimes you might spray a little uh, WD-40, not WD-40, but um, start fluid into it and let it go in and let this get warmed up for it open up up and down for you so stay tuned i'm getting ready to show you something welcome back to this to the well what i'm about to do is use the stuttered fluid put it straight down in the carburetor shoot some a little bit and we're gonna start it up this is what you do now you spray a little bit don't be spraying a lot up in there you spray a lot in there you can mess it up because when you spray this down here everything heats up real quick because you know we're spraying this straight straight to it so here we go i'm about to show you okay what i do is 
I sprayed this a little bit. Here we go. Just a little bit right there and crank it up. Right here it's a warm-up leverage right here now so people when you do this right here start your boat you, you pull up the war the warm-up leverage and see but when you start the boat up you gotta push it down because what's going on the um water hose is not putting enough force like you be in the water so you hit leave this up you didn't mess the engine up right here so soon you start that that bad boy up let it down real slow you know what i'm saying because sometimes it might cut off a couple of times stuff but just repeat the same thing and then it will stay start for you promise you that all right, see, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you right now. Like, I turn the key. Lower it all the way down. You hear how loud that was? You lower it all the way down. Okay, welcome back again. Right here, I got my uh, oil right here. Three and one. Three and one is really, really good. I use this sometimes. Like, you know, each year I try to, like, put this on boats. It's getting rusted for it to be easy. To take off or in the future in case i need to take it off or if we don't rust all the way out a different good thing is for three and one is for in your reels you know especially down here i salt fish a lot and i have to um, put the three and one in my reels keep my reels up and get my reels clean because it, it will eat up everything so uh stay tuned I'm about to show you some new stuff okay you see how all this stuff right here rusted out right here this over a period of time plus the boat is real old so what i do is this i take my three and one oil i put some down right here right there let it lubricate around right here dot it a little bit i want to drift all over my boat put a little bit here you know what I'm saying you what you want to do you want to you keep it you know for it don't rust all the way out there's some things you just do to keep your boat in good top shape and there you go okay what we get ready to do is test the bilge pump what i just did right now was put the water hole down in my um well part where the water held down there where it holds down but um what you got to do first is make sure you put your plug in because you, if you don't put your plug in you know the water gonna be going it, you defeat the purpose but what you're going to do is fill up the water part and we're going to see if it worked real good yeah sometimes you can hear it's on but you got to make sure it's got that good suction shut all that water out there and you can get them at Walmart you know what I'm saying you can get some out of wood and some other different ones you can get but make sure you get a good one like me I got the um I think the 1500 um per hour or something like that I got going on but they got the smaller one for smaller boats they got a bigger one for bigger boats it's all de depends how big your boat is stay tuned I'm gonna show, show you how it works okay okay welcome back now here we go I filled it up at the bottom you don't take that much time to fill it up but right now, get ready to show how it works right now. All right, right now, I got Romello right there. He's gonna hit the switch, hold on. He's gonna hit the switch for me. And he's gonna show you how it works. Okay, hit the switch. Now, you come over here and I watch this look. You see how it's coming out? All that water shooting out. And this uh, hole is like, I see like uh, one inch and a quarter. Big hole, but you see how fast it's shooting out? I want that water out of there. I don't have time. You never know what the situation. Rain real bad, or your boat taking on water, and there it goes. That's how much water is shooting out of my boat. My um, gear pump is um, working perfectly right there for you. And you see right here, if you come right over here. What I did right here, I put some um, silicone stuff right here to close this off. Cause usually I have, I used to have water coming through here all the time. And going in my boat making a lot but i sealed this up with some silicone stuff right here and then plus it's waterproof i mean it's not a pretty sight you can paint it black but for me i just want to fish and catch fish i ain't trying to make it look pretty so stay tuned and we're gonna see what else i got for the story 